hello hello everyone welcome back before i do anything i'm going to ask you guys to please give me a like and a subscribe just so we can help the channel grow thank you all right so here we are we're going to do our query let me close this i just fill that table in so we go to create now you can do query design or query wizard i prefer query wizard but you can do exactly the same thing in both so some of these i'll do in query wizard and some i'll do in query design I'm going to choose a single query wizard, simple, sorry. I'm going to choose everything from the customer table. And to do that, I can either click on this arrow one at a time to bring them over. Or I can click on the double arrow to bring everything over. Or I can double click on each one to bring it over. So I'm just going to double click, sorry, click on the double arrow. It brings everything over. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to go to next again. And table customer query uh we, we can just say all for this one right now again when we're naming things this should be ideally q r y to stick with the naming conventions okay so i'm going to click finish to open the query and view the information now if you wanted to modify the query in query design you can do that but for this one this is a simple 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 mo the most basic query you can ever do click finish and this is your query here it gives you everything that's it for the first query. So now I'm going to quickly show how to do exactly the same thing, but using query design instead. We're going to go over to create again. This time, instead of choosing wizard, we're going to choose design. This will be shown. And now I only want to add stuff from, I think, I believe it was the customer table. So on the right hand side, you simply add selected tables and you can choose the table you want to add. So for me, I'm going to choose customer table and click on add selected tables. It comes up with all the information here. I'm simply going to double click on each of these to add them into the section down here. Oh, let me untick this one. I believe I did that one twice by accident. So let me just untick that one. Now, I'm not going to put anything in for the criteria. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. I'm going to click run and please make note of the query section here. I'm going to have to save it as well. So when I click run, it should ask me if I want to save. And it's going to give me exactly the same results as the first query did. But this is just another way of doing it. There we go. Exactly the same results. Now, when I go to close this, it's going to ask me for the name. What did I put? Query, Q-R-Y, query all. Query all uh, two. Q-R-Y. I'm going to click OK. And both these queries are exactly the same thing. Nothing different between them, but they were done in slightly different ways.